at Flemming Island High School. Although tonight is a joyous occasion, we would like to remind you that this evening is a ceremony and not just a celebration. We want every family to experience the joy of hearing their graduate's name called, so we respectfully ask that there be no noise makers of any type during the ceremony. Tonight's ceremony has been carefully planned and includes many symbols, which is why they asked an English teacher to come to the front. The faculty and administration will precede the graduates and are clothed in formal academic robes as I am. The color of the velvet stripe on each stole represents the academic area in which each faculty member's degree was earned. The colors of the satin sections of the stole represent the university that awarded that degree. Tonight's graduates will be led in by a faculty member carrying the mace you see displayed before me. Originally, maces were weapons intended to be used against armored adversaries, but the advent of long-range weapons such as the longbow and the musket the mace faded from use as a real weapon and instead became a ceremony or a symbol in various ceremonies. In graduation ceremonies, the mace denotes the authority of the academic institution, and the bearer of the mace symbolically guards the head of the school in much the same tradition in which medieval sergeant at arms marched as loyal bodyguards. The mace being used in this evening's ceremonies designed by the Fleming Island High School administrators for use in all of the school's graduation, and its construction is laden with symbolism. The mix is constructed out of maple, symbolic of love, longevity, and prosperity, and of walnut, symbolic of health, mental ability, and the power of wishes. The pedestal is four-sided. Each side bears a different medallion. Three of the medallions represent the characteristics of citizenship, scholarship, and leadership, characteristics that faculty and staff here at Fleming Island High School are committed to encouraging in every one of our students. The front of the medallion represents the inaugural class of 2005. This symbolic representation forever leads the graduating classes of Fleming Island High School into and out of the graduation ceremony. The top of the mace is a bronze eagle with wings spread. Not only does this represent our school mascot, but it also symbolizes the flight our graduates are about to begin into their adult lives. The mace is carried in the stadium in the pre-sessional by the teacher of the year of the previous year, symbolizing the faculty as it leads graduates into the stadium for this last leg of their high school journey. The Mace is carried out of the stadium in the recessional by the current teacher of the year, symbolizing that the job that this class has done and it is time to look forward to the next graduating class. With the processional end of the stadium, this year the Mace will be carried by Mrs. Michelle Sato, Fleming Island Teacher of the Year, for 2021-2022, and in the recessional out of the stadium by Ms. Nina Woolley, Fleming Island High School Teacher of the Year for 2022-2023. Again, 
On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of Fleming High School, I welcome you to the 2023 graduation ceremony, which will begin shortly.
graduation ceremony yeah. for Fleming Island High School. Yeah. It has been a true honor and a blessing to be part of your students' lives over these past four years. I want to thank all of the parents, community members that have supported these soon-to-be high school graduates along the way. Good evening. On behalf of the class of 2023, I would like to welcome all faculty, alumni, friends, family, and guests to the night's celebration of the graduating class. When you first start high school, graduation is a lifetime away. For me, tonight seems like an event that would never come. And even when I started this school year, it still seems so distant and far away. Now this milestone is finally upon us, the moment feels a little surreal. In less than an hour, we will receive our diplomas, and officially become graduates. Four years ago, we walked into this school not sure of what to expect. A tremendous amount has happened over the last four years. From doing school on our beds, to being afraid of falling asleep in class and ending up on the sleeping page, to Mr. Pittman becoming a viral internet meme, or maybe the most significant, the discovery and horror the TikToks that some of our freshman selves posted. I'm proud to say that as the class of 2023, we have managed to survive it all. Over this short but seeming long period of time, we've come a far way as a class and as individuals. While it's true that we sat through four years of classes and learned some incredibly important topics for our everyday use, such as Shakespeare's poetry, geometry, and the fact that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> some of the most meaningful and valuable lessons learned over the last four years stem from the time spent together and the relationships we have formed. These lessons have helped us grow into the people we are today. These past four years have been about the friendships, the mentors, the bonds, and the memories we've made with one another. Memories like when we inhaled alarming amounts of baby powder and were required to protect ourselves from flying beach balls in the student section. As this chapter of our stories comes to an end and we move on to the next part of our lives, we as members of the class of 2023 need to strive to make a positive impact on the world. The impact may be small or large, the scale of what we do does not matter. It is the intent and act of doing it. 
Whether you help only a few, receive no recognition for your actions, or maybe you have a positive impact on the life of only one person, your impact is still important. Know that these actions are the legacy that we will leave behind. Let's embrace our ability to make a difference in the world. Lastly, while it's true that after we leave here tonight, the classroom, the gym, the cafeteria, and the buildings will remain. That the large metal eagle in the middle of the courtyard will remain. And of course, that Thomas Pittman will remain. To myself, and hopefully many of you, what truly made Fleming on High School what it was, was the people. It was all of us. Our teachers, our friends, our family, and our classmates. I wish everyone the best of luck as we venture off into the next chapter of our, chapters of our lives and follow the many dreams we aspire to accomplish. Thank you. Continue to persevere through whatever life throws us. 
I am also going to touch on the importance of kindness tonight. I know it sounds cliche, but if you think about it, none of us would be here today without it. Kindness is a powerful virtue that we have all benefited from during our time in high school. I can remember a teacher giving me an apple juice on a bad day, or when someone saw me upset and a simple smile boosted my mood. Being kind benefits you and everyone around you. You never know what impact you could have on someone else, so I think to be our best selves, we should all strive to be kind. Laugh or even make it to the stage tonight. There were times where I thought that I was never going to be happy or hopeful again, but I was wrong. There is always a light at the end of the tunnel, no matter how unreachable it seems. Through the help of friends, family, and teachers, I was able to reach that light, and I could not be more grateful for each and every one of the people that have helped me get to where I am today. I want everyone here tonight to remember that although the road is not perfect and there are many missteps along the way, no matter what you face, you can get through it and you will be okay. I know that a lot of people here tonight have someone that we wish could be here, but for a variety of reasons, cannot. So I wanted to take a moment at the end of my speech to think about them and thank them for getting us to this point in our lives, along with thanking all the friends, family, and mentors that could be here. Thank you. Good evening, graduates, distinguished guests, families, and friends. My name is Victoria Bahari, valedictorian for the class of 2023. We've all taken different roads to get here, but we are here now, today, together, as one student body, united in our victory against the challenges we faced, because we have faced challenges, each and every one of us. Sometimes we felt as if we were fighting an uphill battle in an invisible war we thought we'd never win. We face these battles inside the classroom, that test you failed, group projects you did all the work in, eating lunch alone in the bathroom, those tireless hours of sports or band practice, those times you thought you couldn't go on and then got up anyways, got ready for school, put on a smile, even though you weren't feeling your best. We face these battles outside the classroom, those endless hours of quarantine when you thought things would never get better, those times you thought you were all alone. Well, I'm here to say that I understand and you are not alone. You are never alone, because we are the class of 2023. Hand in hand, we find our way out of the dark. It may be easier to forget the hard times, the tragedies, the trials and tribulations we've suffered through, but let me remind you, class of 2023, that these experiences are what made us stronger, what made us kinder, and what brought us to this moment, graduating in a world where it's a fight to even keep your head above water. We didn't drown, no. Instead, we looked to the stars and we lifted each other up, up, out of the sea and into the sky. When the world gave us quarantine, we found ways to stay connected to each other. When the world gave us reasons to hate each other, we found reasons to defy those expectations, found ways to love and appreciate one another. Instead of burning bridges, we built them. We've all been fighting in an invisible war, a war at times we thought we may never win. But today, my fellow students of the class of 2023, we all get to walk on stage and tell the world, I win. Because we are not just survivors, we are victors. We came out on top, stretched our wings and soared over the turbulent waters of the sea that threatened to drown us. Whether you were an ace, AP, dual, or took the traditional path, whether you were in band, football, ROTC, or drama club, whether you were an artist, an athlete, or simply someone who tried their best where the odds seemed stacked against them, we made it. We are embarking on a new chapter of our lives, so wipe away your tears, wear your scars proudly, and hold your head up high. Be proud, for you've made it. I've made it. We've made it. We are white peonies in full bloom. We are glorious golden eagles, spreading our wings and taking flight. And no matter where we may fly, remember what we've been through. Remember where you came from. We are the class of 2022, and the world can never take that from us. Yeah. <laughs>
this time, we would like to recognize our AA, ACE, and AP Capstone graduates. This year, we have seven students who have completed their AA degrees from St. John's River State College. They are wearing a white stole with a dual enrollment insignia, recognizing this accomplishment. At this time, would you seven please stand? Thank you. We have 62 students who have completed their ACE curriculum and diplomas through the University of Cambridge in Cambridge, England. They are wearing a black stole with ACE insignia to recognize this accomplishment. If you are one of those 62 students, would you please stand at this time? Thank you. We have 24 students who have completed the AP seminar and research, research classes, as well as the other requirements to be awarded their AP capstone diploma. They are wearing light blue stoles with the AP insignia to recognize this accomplishment. If you are one of those 24 students, please stand. Thank you. Angel Allen Dogan, Case Asher Alexander, Oliana Anthony, Austin Paul Allred, Kenley Madison Applet, Chris On, Shayla Elizabeth Abbott, Ryan Vincent Anton, Marla Kate All, Isaiah Armstrong, Madison Jane Ayers, Gabriel Sandin Arzondo, Paris Harmony Bacon, Christian Ball, Reagan Nicole Baxley, Murphy Ballard, Leah Elizabeth P. Elizabeth Beasley, Daniel Banks, Madeline Virginia Bell, Tyree G. Carbudo, Gianna Bailey, <laughs> Mackenzie Ann Blau, Zachary David Barnes, Shady Morian Boring, Ernest Barrington, Constance Ann Bowman, Gavin Eric Billingsley, Coco Sega, Sophia Elizabeth Dulon, Brendan Matthew Ruth. Emma Grace Bryant, Erin Michelle, Th Sophia Evangeline Escobar, Andres Gabbaforte, Jasmine Elizabeth Farrar, Caleb Matthew Devinsky, Riley Alyssa Finch, Wyatt Dietrich, Kendall Paige Sanders, Richter Chase Delmu, Taylor Forrest. Alexia Maria Photos, Luke Adrian Douglas, Audrey Freehaver, Joseph Michael Freeman, Simon Dermichi, Nikaya Ava Fred, Chloe Taylor Fry Fairchild, Seth Elijah E. Let's go, Seth! Andrea Victoria Felicia Hernandez, Jace LeBron Edwards. Nathan Ryan Elwood, Isabel Garcia, Kevin Ryan Emanuel, Gianna Gardner, Nathan Timothy Ernst, Madeline Ray Grandstaff, Dawson David Edinger, Mackenzie Marie Grant, Derek Edward Yasley Guerrero Mercedes, Jeremy Alexander Paso, Emma Gutierrez, Justin Haney Farabala, Sophia Marie Hand, Colin Andrews Falk, Claudia Irene Harry, Eric Lucas Faust, Samantha Renee Hawk, 
Oh, jammers, 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 jammers. I love you, Murphy! I'm trying to go back to the Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,